This is a very interesting gate question which is asked in EC to the 9 for 1 mark. In this body of circuit, if you observe, four elements are there. All the elements are of ideal sources, right? Among which two are voltage sources and two are current sources. In this question, they have mentioned that like 60 volt source is observed in the power. Okay, 60 volt source is observed in the power. In order to make sure like that, the current source value I can be. Regarding the current source value I, you are having four choices. You can verify option by option. Okay, so in this question, since they have mentioned that 60 volt source is observed in the power, so the current direction should be upward or downward. If you are able to answer this question correctly, then definitely you can easily answer this question. You can easily solve this particular question. See, whenever the element is observed in the power, current should enter at positive terminal of the voltage across it. Okay, so that means in this circuit, the current flowing through 60 volt source, current flowing through the 60 volt source should be downward. Okay, so in order to get like that, you can verify option by option regarding I values. Okay, now if you observe in this particular circuit, you are getting a node. Okay, for that particular node, three elements are connected, like current source I is entering, whereas 12 ampere is leaving. And as we have discussed that six, through the 60 volt source, current has to go downward. That means current direction should be like current is entering to that particular node. That means I and the current flowing through the 60 volt source will enter to the node and net amount of current leaving is 12 ampere. Okay, now with this understanding, when you have considered option A, option A, 10 ampere is the I value and 2 ampere you can consider in the 60 volt source is flowing. So 10 plus 2 is 12 ampere. The net amount of current 12 ampere is leaving in another branch. Yes, it is satisfied. For this question, option A is the correct one. Whereas if you observe regarding remaining three choices, option B, option C, option D, like uh, those values are more than 12 ampere, right? Regarding I value I'm talking, in all these cases, the current flowing through the 60 volt source will be upward. So current in this, uh, like with respect to option B, option C, option D, current leaves from positive terminal. So whenever current leaves from positive terminal, that element will deliver the power, right? So since in this question, they ask clearly 60 volts should absorb the power. That means option A is the correct one. Nowadays, you're having MSQ type of question for the same circuit. Suppose if they ask that you have to find out the I value in such a manner, the 60 volts source is delivering the power. In that case, option B, option C, option D are going to be correct. I hope it is clear for everyone. Thank you for watching this video.